This is a demonstration of some of the native functionality of the Salesforce Service Cloud to track tickets and track their history. If we click on one of these tickets from the system, we'll see the entire information about this ticket and how it's been managed thus far. One of the things that we can do on this page as we scroll down is take a look at the case history. Case history is something that's built in natively to track changes that are made to any of the tickets in the system. This could be things like the owner changing or any other field that you want to track to ensure that you understand everywhere that this case or ticket has been. You can see changes that have been made, who made them, when they were made. So we have date, which user actually made the change, and what change actually took place. Now, because this is in Salesforce, we can also very easily report on this information as well. If you go up to the top of the page, we can click on our report section. And we have a report built in that's called a basic case history report. So this is something that you could create on your own. It's a simple report type that's already included in the system. When we click into this report, we'll be able to see a little more information about what's going on in the system. Right now, this is tracking all of the cases that we have open in the system and it's tracking when changes are being made. You can specify how you want this report to actually work. You might track different pieces of information, but this gives a lot of detail around all of the different tickets we have in the system and the different changes that have been made. This is a classic example of when you might track how an individual user is performing. So you could take a look, for example, at somebody on the customer care team who owns cases and see what changes their cases have been through. What we can also see is that we have this field over here, ping pong counter. Now this is something that we added in after this demonstration had, this demonstration uh, Salesforce organization had already been put in place. And so you'll see not everything has the ping pong counter in it, but any record that was created after we implemented the ping pong counter has this feature called a ping pong counter. If we click into this case in particular, we can see that in action. What the ping pong counter does is it's a field that shows how many times any one ticket has been bounced around. This is done automatically with no work from the users to get this updated. And I'll show you both how this works on this particular case and then how the setup took place. Now, as I look at this, I can see that this has been passed around three times and I can see that we have a case owner. If we change the name of the case owner, Then the record gets updated and that number is incremented. Every time we make a change, that will take place. And so at the end of the day, we can see which tickets have been passed around multiple times without any sort of resolution. And again, go back and report on that to, for instance, track tickets based on the ones that have the highest ping pong counters. Now, in terms of how this was set up, we can actually see the workflow that's driving that behavior within the setup area. One thing to note is that when we were preparing this, Ben actually created the field on workflow on his own. It took him about five minutes. And this is something that it's not only leverages native functionality, but is also very simple to do. Now here in the setup area, this is kind of the under the hood view of Salesforce, we can go to workflow. We can see the workflow rule that was put in place to get that ping pong counter working. One great thing to note is that if you choose to, you can have this page pop up every time you access the setup area. So that will walk you through what does a workflow mean and what can it do to give a little bit of insight into where this would be used. Now I need to go to my ping pong counter. So I'll do a quick search of the page. I have this ping pong workflow. And when I click on it, I can see the information behind it. So every time we have a workflow, there are a couple things that are going to take place. The first is setting the criteria for the behavior. And what we've done is we've said that every time the owner ID is changed, that's when this workflow will actually fire. So if I'm making changes to a ticket, but the owner actually isn't changing, the ping pong counter should not go up. Therefore, only the changes to the owner will make the ping pong counter fire. Now I can save this. And the next screen that will be taken to are the actions that take place subsequent to the changing of the owner ID. So right now all we have is a field update, ping pong at a point. 
We can click into this to see a little more information. And what this is saying is that we have a particular field that is being modified. Field to update, case ping pong counter. We can see how it's being modified. So you can specify a formula in an instance like this. And all this is saying is we need to take the prior value of the field ping pong counter, which we created, and add one to it. This kind of thing takes about five minutes to get in place and can be made active and running to be able to track all of the changes made instantly.